What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another episode. First, I want to apologize for last week. Um, it was my last week in France, and I flew home on a Monday, so I really didn't have any time to shoot. But we're back this week, and today we are going to talk about SNL. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Saturday Night Live did a skit called The Gold Diggers of the WNBA. Now, when I first saw um, any clips of it, it was on Twitter. It was about a minute and a half clip up of this skit. And it must have been all the worst parts because it was horrible and I was furious. But then later I saw a clip that I hadn't seen before. So then I went back and watched the skit in its entirety. So when I watched the full skit, honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, personally, I just didn't find it that funny. I think that's a great topic because the WNBA absolutely has groupies, but I thought that SNL was just lazy with their jokes and it was poorly done. I'm all for a good WNBA joke. Uh, family Guy has had some great ones. Uh, Modern Family has had some great ones, but SNL didn't do it well. And here are the issues I had with it. First and foremost, the lesbian jokes. Precisely. You know what, well, that's over. It's canceled. Can we please retire the lesbian jokes? Not only are they not funny, they're extremely homophobic. Like, you have been telling these jokes for 20 plus years. You're not even a good comedian if you're telling that joke at this point. It's literally the lowest hanging fruit. It's on the floor. Can we please let those go? Second was at the end, Leslie Jones, when she's walking out with her girlfriend, um, calls Carabas Caracas. And when she's corrected, she says, whatever, that's why I play basketball. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The W is literally one of the most educated leagues out there. Like, because of the stipulations to get into the WNBA, majority of us have a degree. That's not even a legit joke. Like, I feel like all good jokes are supposed to have a little bit of truth in them, and that definitely was not it. Be better tomorrow. So lastly, I think what bothered me the most, um, because it wasn't necessarily offensive, it's just more irritating, was that the only reason any of these things were irritating to me was because it's just overall a tired narrative. Whenever we get national coverage like this, it's usually something negative or these bad jokes. And the problem with that is we don't get enough coverage of actual WNBA storylines and actual players for people to understand what's reality and what's just jokes. For example, one of my friends um, thought the Camry joke was funny because she knows somebody in the WNBA that actually drives a Camry. And that's all good and fine and dandy, but the reason it's funny is because we know that she's made a ton of money overseas and she literally drives a Camry because she wants to, not because she has to. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. But for people out there that see these skits, they don't know that. And so they don't have the discernment to say that that's just a joke and they believe that this is the reality of the WNBA and its players. And for me, that's a problem. Until we get to a point that we get like better coverage or when people are giving other narratives of what the WNBA actually is and the general public understands who we are and what we represent, it's hard for them to see these jokes and find them as just jokes. So that was the biggest issue that I had with the skit. Overall, I just thought the skit was pretty irresponsible and poorly done. And I really wish it wasn't because it's a great topic. And I love WNBA jokes. I think they're funny when they're good. We need to get more WNBA storylines out there so people understand who we are and what these players do and what type of people they are. So when they make these jokes, they can discern what's real and what's not. That's all I got for this week, guys. Thank you for joining me again. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching another episode of Down and Dirty with Deborah.